Well, I knew this would happen if I opened a box, so. Here's another box. Good thing is I am playing the game and I'm kind of looking to make my own deck, so why not? Let's see if I can get this one done in under a half hour. I doubt it. It's so hard. It's hard to open these and not admire all the beautiful art, so... Here's hoping though, it'd be nice to make a shorter video. People can watch. All right. Exceptional land. Nice, dual land. Yeah, love it. It's good stuff. Ooh. So I am wanting to play uh, water. I am liking the water play style. Nice elite. And then ordinaries. A lot of the same stuff I saw in the uh, box one. Love the art on this. I have not. Yeah, I did see this. I believe I got some of those. That a gothic tower? Is that what it is? All right. Cool. In a humble village. I'm gonna try not to talk too much. Not much I could say about this product. Except this fantastic. Nice dual land aqueducts. Awesome, awesome. Love it. And a lone tower. Oh, yeah, nice. Chantress avatar and foil. I love it. Whenever you cast a spell, you may animate target aura until your next turn. It's an aura minion with power equal to its cost. Pretty cool. Love the art on this. Even if the original is Frank Francetta. Obviously, it's that art's always cool, but that's a really cool beta art. So. All right, dual line again. Love it, Lighthouse. I haven't seen this one or have haven't gotten this one like it since I do want to play some water so another exceptional wheat so 
foil. Yeah. And lead aura foil. Not bad. And a river. Nice water beast there. Lord of the Void. Unique. Nice. Nice, nice, nice graphics on that looks pretty cool let's keep it off to the side over there all right was it me or did that foil kind of or no never mind that's that's why for a minute, I was confused, thinking that was a foil, and it's like it's kind of too early in the pack to be a foil, but it was just the elite, or the unique, and the... Oh, nice. In the unique elite slot. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I'm getting a lot of dual lands. I think I only got one yesterday. So, that's awesome. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Exceptional. And I believe that's a, yeah, that's a new, unique. Yeah, look at that. It's a quad land. Love it. I think that's a good sought after card right there. So it might be worth a little bit and highly playable. Orb of Ball Bareth. So unique foil, nice. I like it. Love it, love it. I don't think I got a unique foil yet on my first box. But I did get a uh, Aquamarine Core. So that made up for it. Oh, I think I put that in the wrong spot. Put that there. We'll put this with the rest of the good lands. And continue. Nice. Tell you what, I'm getting a whiff of, I don't know if it's the cardboard, the ink. Yeah, it's going to be something to remember if, and hopefully in 20 years we're still playing this and people have some alpha beta boxes and they're like, oh, the smell. It's like we remember the smell of uh, old school magic. Nice exceptional land there. Exceptional unicorn. I love that look at that shark right there. It looks so cool. Yeah, I'm looking to play some water. I'm really enjoying it. I don't know if there's an avatar different than the uh, pre constructed avatar for water. Or if something else works well with water. Alright. Yeah, it looks like I'm falling behind. It's hard. I'm telling you guys and ladies and everyone else who watches. It is extremely difficult to get through these cards. I'm telling you. It's very hard. I'm going on 10 minutes, yep, past 10 minutes now. Not even finished with the left uh, Twix. It's 
so definitely need to pick up the pace. Two more, I believe. Unless it's the next one. Two more on this side. Left side. Nice. Back on the left side. Got a foil, elite foil. Really cool looking. Love it. into the box so we don't start getting them falling down they can fall inside the box oh nice avatar here's hoping for something I need Spark Mage, so I believe that's just the same as, I think it's a different logo, but same as the, uh, I don't know where I'm putting this, same as the pre-constructed is what I was going to say. It's a pretty good card, Death Dealer. A unique. Definitely take it. I think the foil is like two hundred dollars for the beta one. Don't even ask what the uh, Alpha Frank Francetta is. If I'm even saying his name right, because that thing is expensive. Well worth it though. I would say it's a gorgeous card. Even that one definitely does not disappoint. I don't know who did the logo on the uh, graphics on that, but oh nice, another unique those over there so it looks like I'm getting maybe a little more unique than my first box if I remember correctly it's always a good thing but I think uh, no I think I ended up with six if I remember correctly and no foil one so I think I already got a foil unique yep means I'm ahead of the curve and from the last box. But, but having had the core, having gotten the core is kind of, I guess, makes up for it. Even though it was not a foil. Foil would have been expensive. Nice card. I got this 
the alpha one in foil. faster. Oh nice, another foil. Chain lightning. Haunt. I love the promo, the uh, Team Covenant promo. Oh. It's an avatar. Nice. All right. Your atlas can't contain duplicates. Draw no sites during setup. Tap reveal and play the topmost side of your atlas to an adjacent void or rubble and move there. Pretty cool. Might have to try some of that. Um, Cause you can play it. Granted, I mean, so you can play with the water, but I don't know if I take a big hit from not being able to flood. Cause that's such a good, good ability on the uh, water avatar in my opinion but who knows maybe it's garbage and <laughs> i have no idea what i'm talking about since i'm new to the game nice so i got the foil this and now this pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool put it over there hopefully it's a needed card i'm not sure it's a highly played card or not, but let's hope. It's good to get things that uh, are meta. Shark again. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Too bad it wasn't in foil. I think in foil this thing goes for like 1500. Uh, I'm assuming it still goes for a few hundred. Oh yeah. I will definitely take that. I love it. That is awesome hit. So far this box seems to be better than my first box. So that's amazing. All right, Let's see if we can get some more heat in here. Oh, nice, another avatar. I'm assuming it's just a normal, since the normal ones. The stack is getting a little wobbly over here. The exceptionals. Oh, okay, so two avatars in this one. Chantress again. Love it. Then I have one in the last spot here, which I'm assuming is one of the pre-con ones. 
I don't think you get any different one or else they'd be in the elite slot from the looks of it. Yeah, so. Same as the Precon. I think it's a different logo, if I remember correctly. Not sure. Potentially the same. In there for construct, or not constructed, but if you're doing any draft and stuff. Or you just didn't buy the, uh, the Precons. I regret not getting the Alpha Precons. I really want them now. They are slightly different. All right, that was it for the center spot, center Twix. Let's put these ordinaries here. Exceptional land. I forget where I'm putting those, but another <laughs> three lands in a row. Quagmire. Lighthouse. Dual land. Perfect. And an elite monument. Getting a lot of dual lands this this box, which is good. I'll take it. Merfolk. Yeah, you play Merfolk deck. Frost Nova. Pretty cool looking. Nice, nice foil. And then Definitely didn't really go too much faster than the first time. But that's okay. Nice elite. Another foil, nice. So exceptional. Buried treasure. And then sea raider. More merfolks. Nice. Packed with the devil. Unique ma magic commands. A heavy price. Sacrifice the caster. Or lose half your life rounding up if you do draw three cards. Um. Wait, what? That's confusing. So who's the caster? Caster of what? Wasn't a spell, right? Or is it a spell? I guess it's a spell. Right? It's just a spell. So 
Check if it's the last turn, lose half your life. Rounding up. If you do, draw three cards. <sighs> I'm still confused. Lands halfway through the last Twix. All right, we have a mud flow. I like this frog. Another avatar, another enchantress. I think that's my third one. Was one of them foil? I can't remember. Four packs left. We're not doing great on time, but we're getting through it. I want this in foil. That foiling on that card just looks so amazing. I love it. Roads. This looks cool, I haven't seen this yet. An elite side ones. Spawned an empire. Target opponent, then you may play a side adjacent to this one. Huh. on the foils. Battle Mage. Have I gotten this one? I don't think so. Whenever Battle Mage attacks and kills an enemy, you may draw a card. Ooh. Sexy. Looking for another foil would be nice. didn't make it before half hour. I still think I have last one was like 37 minutes. Elite. Nice. Void walk. Gain plus one power this turn. Love it. Come on, we need a foil.
Don't think we're getting a foil. Oh. All right. Let us recap. So, foils were. I think I did get a unique foil, right? Sweet. Yep, unique. So, one unique foil, which is great. Yeah, and one enchantress. So, foil wise, we got. Is that nine? Yep, nine foils with one unique. I'll take that. And then for. Where are all these? These were all. Avatars and uniques. So, got a unique, another avatar, another avatar. That's a lot of avatar. And the hit of the box. Absolutely amazing. That is, oh, I love it. Then we got that again. So, what do we have here? One, two, oh yeah, Death Dealer. Three, four uniques. Five uniques. So I think, although I think I did, so five uniques, right? No, six uniques. Six uniques. Did I get a unique land? Exceptional elite. Exceptional, elite, exceptional, exceptional, exceptional. I can't remember if I got. Yes, so. Unique. Exceptional, exceptional, exceptional. I think that was it, right? Yes. So. In total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slightly ahead of the curve. No, eight, nine. Way ahead of the curve. Because we had the one over here. Yeah. Perfect. All right. If you made it this far, you're crazy. Thank you. Subscribe. Thumbs up. You know, all that good stuff. Maybe. I can continue posting videos. I definitely is going to open another box because this one was amazing. Not as good as some of that I've seen, but I think that's probably one of the best cards is the Philosopher's Stone. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I think that's probably one of the best cards you can hit. Foil would be better, obviously, but as far as the actual card, I think this is one of the better hits in any box, so... Maybe I will see a foil one. I'm hoping to see the other cores, but man, that, that's exciting. All right, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I hope Thanksgiving was amazing. Have a good one.